my first reaction was wow because it's and it's got this amazingly kind of driven harmonic kind of vehicle through it which has just got such power to it It's well, it's, it's kind of like a list of everything in the universe yeah. um, and saying to each of those things yeah. in the universe, praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh, so that's a lot of, of big ideas. So you've got the sun and the moon and the stars yeah. in the first two lines. You've got the creatures of the deep. Um, and towards the, right at the end, something says uh, the Lord has raised up a horn. And they think, well, we've got to do something with the horns here. So there are lots of kind of demands for music and they're quite spectacular images. So it's also just quite big music, and so at each moment you've got to find a new harmony and a, and a new place to go. That was quite exhilarating to write. In the course of the next few weeks, we hope that you're going to be able to come and help assist us and the children in preparing it all. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm looking forward to, to meeting the bar choir, meeting the children, um, hearing how they're getting on, um, obviously cheering them on and encouraging them. And of course it's going to be a very exciting moment, I think particularly for the children, uh, but, it's getting, but for, the, for the adults too when they hear the orchestra for the first time because they're going to be rehearsing just with piano and suddenly there's going to be this huge array of colours um, with some, I think, rather exciting effects. Uh. Unquestionably. Yeah. <laughs> dedicated the work to Leo de Rothschild and Sounds for Leo, brilliant title which you came up with. And he was a loved past chairman of the choir, sang with the choir for many, many years, a good friend of our patron, Prince Charles, and I know that Leo would have been thrilled with his work. Thank you.